Oh my gosh, if I can say this without crying, because I think about this often. I look at my daughter now, who's almost five, and it's, I mean, I can't tell her I love her enough, you know, I can't um, hug her enough. Uh, I can't leave that house without her saying, Mommy, oh, I need hugs and kisses, you know, and I'm not going to forget to give her hugs and kisses. It wasn't like that with the, with the first. That working mom of six kids was overcome by emotion when I asked her if she was a different mother to her youngest than she was to her older ones at that same age. Why would a working mom alter her parenting style after having more kids? Stay tuned to find out why five moms treat their kids differently and why you might want to as well. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where mothers of all different backgrounds share the ups and downs and hacks of juggling career and kids. You've probably heard you're supposed to parent all your children the same way, that your approach should be consistent and you shouldn't play favorites. But every time another baby comes along, the family dynamic changes. I was sure to never let my son see a PG-13 movie until he was 13 years old. But his younger sister saw those same movies when she was ten and a half. I guess it was just convenience. Other times our parenting is different for the younger ones because we have more experience and don't want to make the same mistake for the second child that we think we did for the first one, as several moms admit in this video. You think you're a different mom to your younger kids than you were to the older ones at the same age because you learned some things. What were some of those lessons? Yeah, I feel I do have more experience. Um, well, the biggest one is with my youngest, I kind of told myself don't focus too much of, you know, your attention, your time to your children. Think about yourself sometimes. That's the biggest lesson I, I learned. That's why I got myself a horse, something I always wanted to, because life is too short. You need to enjoy what you like and just because you're a mom, you can forget what, what you are. With my five-year-old, my first five-year-old, I wasn't there. I was working and paying the bills and striving to give him his best life. I look at my daughter now, who's almost five, and it's, I mean, I can't tell her I love her enough, you know, I can't um, hug her enough. Um, I can't leave that house without her saying, Mommy, oh, I need hugs and kisses, you know, and I'm not going to forget to give her hugs and kisses. It wasn't like that with the, with the first because I was just so busy and worried about our future, you know. So I've definitely learned a lot <laughs> um, throughout the years and with all of the children um, what matters and what doesn't matter. And time with them is what matters, you know. And being present and being able to have something that I can say I, I do what I want when I want, I work when I want, and when I want to be with my children and my family, I'm with my children and my family became much more organized, much more organized. <laughs> and the chores that they had, they had to start chores pretty early. You know, they were of their age equivalent, you know, but that's, you know, pick up your toys, pick up your room, you make, make sure your clothes after the bath, go out to the laundry room into the basket. Now different um, is that we got more time to go out and family. In the beginning was uh, hard because uh, they too little and uh, working hard to get uh, attending a school learning the language and it was very hard. I'm more lenient with the youngest one. Uh, he has uh, ADHD, Asperger's and uh, mood disorder. So he is homeschooled uh, because he can't be around big groups of people. So he, he we're more, more lenient with him. Uh, he gets away with more stuff where the older children weren't allowed to do that. I hope the interviews you just watched and my other videos remind you we all feel frustrated at times but it will get better. I believe working moms who accept their strengths and weaknesses are better able to prosper day in and day out. And I wanna help by sharing more strategies from other working moms in my next video to give you ideas and inspiration to conquer your challenges. So subscribe to my Working Mom Warrior channel and click on the next video to boost your confidence as you relate to the successes and the failures of the Working Mom Warriors who share their secrets so we can all benefit. Thank you.